Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video of Clash Royale. Today I have three different Three Musketeer decks we're going to try on Passive Legends. So with that being said, let's get started. We have the the classic deck, um, the one with the giant, the one with the royal hogs, and the one that I normally use and show you guys on camera. So with that being said, let's jump into our first match. I did run into a cannoneer earlier today, and I was shocked because that card sucks. But uh, we'll see if we run into one again. Uh, and let's just get started by cycling the pump. And I'm going to zap that shenanigans once it pops over my tower. Good zap. I hope he doesn't have Goblin Barrel. And we are starting off with the deck I normally use because this is the one I'm most comfortable with. And then we'll move on to the Royal Hogs one next. We're going to get a nice King Tower activation here. And while we're at it, we'll take our... Oh, you pesky, pesky man. Alright, well, anyway, well, no King Tower activation. Then it's not the end of the world. But that was smart. He did predict me. I'll be aware of that next time I try to activate his uh, King Tower. A heal spirit will let my uh, must or my bandit connect if he didn't do anything else. I'm just gonna distract those bats a bit so I can zap it all. Zap! There we go. And it's not too bad yet. We got two pumps on the field. It looks like he doesn't have a proper pump counter, which we can use to our advantage. We'll just taunt him a little bit. And since he's not taking care of my pumps, you know what? I have enough elixir. I can afford some tears and single elixir now. Normally, you want to wait until double elixir. However, since I know he cannot keep up no matter what, we're just going to abuse it. I put down the muck early so he doesn't put that firecracker down to counter us. Uh, and he has barbarian bill. I'm going to try to count that so I can potentially reflect it. Three away from barbarian barrel, two away from barbarian barrel. And it looks like, see, he does not have enough elixir. Alright, he's about zero elixir, so I can't get away from uh, rushing e-babes. Normally you don't want to rush e-babes, but I know he is really, really low, so I can't afford this. See, look at this counter. Skeleton King, and that's basically it. And I'll rush the other side. That's it. I know he's all out of elixir, so just keep rushing. That's what happens when you don't counter pumps, man. Fortunately for him, he does have a bunch of cheap cards, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. Alright, four away from Barbarian Barrel. We'll try to reflect the next one. I'll put the musketeers in the back. We don't have any pumps anymore because I was being a bit cocky, but it'll be fine. Three away from Barbarian Barrel. Two away from Barbarian Barrel. His firecracker is not evolved. One away from Barbarian Barrel. He's there. And I'm going to monk ability early for hopefully a reflection. No, looks like we don't get a reflection. Oh, but Musketeers connect to the tower on the left-hand side. He is far away again. I will try to reflect it because it looks super cool on camera. We'll use a defensive elixir pump right here because I can't afford it. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> we'll see. That firecracker is getting in the way. So we'll just monk ability it and zap the shenanigans. There we go. Back on top. Oh, he keeps rushing. This guy has no mercy. This heal spirit to uh, con counter that. Okay, I was being really cocky, man. Okay, it's time for me to get serious, so if I do stop commentating, I do apologize. He is rushing me, like there is no tomorrow. But um, this ru um, mindless rushing does not pay off, as you saw when uh, I did my push. Zap it. And it's almost time for me to make a mega push. Mock ability early for hopefully a barbarian barrel. There we go. You reflect his barbarian barrel into his tower. And I think that might be the game. It's not looking too good for him there. There we go. And just like that, that's our very first game of today. And we got a nice reflection. So let's go. I freaking love reflections. That's why I like using monks in these uh, decks. Because uh, you could potentially reflect a card if you know how to do so. I did make a video if you want to check it out. With that being said, let's jump into the second match with the Royal Hawks. Hopefully we'll get somewhere, um, going against this guy, I uh, can't pronounce his name, and we'll just see what he's made out of. This deck does not have pump, but in order, um, the, the reason this doesn't have pump is we have another fireball counter, or fireball bait, which will be the, uh, Royal Hogs, so that's a good thing to have. Uh, they're more, uh, more baity, if that makes sense, than, uh, pumps, because sometimes you can't get away with ignoring pumps. Like uh, last match, uh, he kind of got away with it, but sometimes uh, you just need a proper counter. All right, I'm going to try to get. What is this? Oh my gosh! Let me counter that mini pick out. 
Oh, that was a little bit early. But we did get a nice King Tower activation. Oh my gosh, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here. That's a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Oh, the pain. This deck you're supposed to chip down, and you're also supposed to conserve your tower health. However, I'm not doing a very good job, so with that being said, <laughs> let's concentrate and try to do a little bit better. Double Elixir is when this deck shines, so you want to hold off, uh, hold, hold your opponent down until you can reach Double Elixir. I did not do a very good job, so we're going to have to do a lot of makeup in order to make up for it. Um... I'm gonna rush to the side with piggies because he used his main splash counter and we'll get a little bit of damage. Okay, and we kind of do even up. We still have to take care of that Magnite. It's not a problem. Use ghost to counter that firecracker because it is annoying. And Magnite, we need you in the king tower. There we go. The king tower can take more damage than my princess right now. So we use that uh, golden Knight ability to counter a mini P.E.K.K.A. shot. He barely survives, but we did. To be, we were able to tank one shot with him from him fairly easily. So there we go. A good thing about the uh, Golden Knight's uh, invincibility is, like the Bandit, is a lot more useful. He's probably gonna have Firecracker. Please don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodness. But the Golden Knight's ability is a lot more useful than the Bandit's because you can use that to tank shots. Unlike the Bandit, where she has to like actually target um, troops. He has lightning. Okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, uh, let's start a dueling push. It's not going to be very proper because we got lightning. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, we might get a little bit of damage. If we... Oh, please tank for my musketeer. I personally wouldn't recommend this deck. It was a popular deck a year ago. But uh, since then, um, the meta has changed a lot. There's a lot more evolutions in the game. And, uh-oh. Okay, that was right inside was looking scary. But we might be able to make a comeback if we're lucky. <laughs> That's the problem, if we're lucky. Ghost might get that hit. There we go. Two hits, please. Alright. We're gonna tank. And I know he's gonna lighten this, so I'm gonna put the Royal Hogs in the back. Oh, the Hunter has more health than the freaking. <laughs> uh, the, than the piggies. That's a shame. Alright, we need to take care of this oh there we go and that's our second game we do not win it because I'm not very good with this deck but there we go personally I would not recommend this three musketeer deck it is a really tricky compared to the last one I showed you and let's just hop into this last deck and see how this one goes personally uh, I don't have high hopes for this one because it is super expensive but if you can play it off correctly you can make two really devastating pushes unlike the first deck where you can make two decent pushes but we'll see how this goes uh we got a nice pump i'll let those uh scout dragons do their thing all right and the good thing about this deck is we have a lot better anti-air unlike uh the last uh the first deck which only has three musketeers and bats hopefully those minions get a little bit of damage and I'll zap that so we could get rid of his minions. And I don't want that to get too much damage. Come on, man. Now let's be reasonable. Uh, looks like he's running. I think he's just mainly a balloon deck rather than a lava hound deck, so we don't have to worry about that. The knight have, have, has half health, which means we can just leave the prince tower to take him out. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Never mind. But when the knight has almost half health, you can basically leave him alone. But um, in my case, he had a little bit too much health. I'll put down a pump. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh, we need order to tank and take care of those recruits. There we go. And so far this deck's going pretty well. I think it's because um, this main reason this deck's going co so well right now is because my opponent does not have a pump counter. Which means I have a lot of extra elixir here of those. And you know what? We're going to start a mini push here. Use a giant to tank for those skeleton dragons. And that's interesting. There were... The prince has been nerfed a lot, but he is still okay. He's basically a stream electro musketeer with ability. Uh, Alright, and this is a pretty good dual lane push so far. The reason we're so successful in this push right now is because this guy has not been countering my pumps, which will be his downfall if he does not change up uh, soon. I wanted to do a defensive pump, but that is uh, not, not practical, so don't do that, guys. <laughs> Unless if you want to flex against someone, 
If you know you're gonna win, which I think I am gonna win. I might lose. Let's see. I think he gave up. Oh, no, he didn't. But we did get those Pocket Pine Musketeers. We get a lot of chip damage. Not quite taking down his tower. Uh oh. Not the end of the world, but it's 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 close to the end. Okay. <laughs> Zap everything. Try to just slow it down just a little bit, and hopefully we can take down this second tower. I think we basically won this match. Just come on, man! Just give me your tower. I'm just put that, gonna put down a giant. He doesn't have a proper tank killer, and that should connect to his second princess tower, giving us two towers down. And uh, this guy seems to be putting up quite a fight, so I'll put down Shimmer's Spears as a defensive card. And, you know, Evolution Battle are at it. And that should be our third and final game. Personally, I would recommend um, the first tech I showed you. It has Evolutions. It has uh, the Monk. That's pretty powerful in my opinion. Uh, but uh, depends on how you guys want to play Three Musketeers. There are many different styles of decks. So whatever feels most comfortable with you is what you should probably go with. Anyways, my recommendation is the first one. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys all in the next video of Clash Radio. Bye-bye.